Uh, welcome right. to welcome our, Act 3. This is our movie club podcast. Yeah, this is not the unnamed. Act 3. Yeah, unnamed. Yeah, <laughs> unnamed movie podcast. Act 3 is uh, the name of it anyway. Well, it's a test run. We're going to yeah. begin this test with a little guessing game uh-huh. where I will try to get my... Wait, who are, who are you? I am Michael. Okay. Why don't you guys introduce yourselves? Who's I'm, this other guy right I'm here? also... I'm Andrew. Is Andrew. My name's Drew. And we're going to call him Drewby from now on. Okay. His yeah. full name is Drewby. We're going to censor that out because... Yeah. <laughs> I got warrants. Yeah. He lives on thirty seven. My social security. No. Okay. All right. All right. So I have a movie in mind. I want to show these guys. Uh-huh. Um, I don't think they've seen it. They may have. They may not have even heard of it. Yeah. Which is going to make the guessing game. Really yeah. Hard. You probably won't guess it. Then. I love okay. that you're um, talking to the phone as if it's like. A well, there's a, there's <laughs> there's supposed to be an audience on the other side of this. So. Yeah. But I mean, he's like looking at it and like. That's it. I'm back. a very uh, <laughs> you're empathic <laughs> communicator. Uh, yeah, okay. He's got to get in character. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean I, I I agree. I never I never record myself or do anything. Yeah. So, so just stay act. on the fucking floor. I want to act and know your place. Listen, you guys <laughs> are standing. That's weirder to me. Well, maybe you should stand as well. You're the weird one. Yeah, right, I'll stand. Fine. I'm All right, so I uh, I gave away the first clue. Yes. Oh, I didn't know. Uh, this film came out around the time we were born. Okay. Which uh-huh. is the, the late 80s. I mean, I was early born in the late 80s. 80s. Yeah, it, early 90s. Okay. Yeah, we're all around that age. Uh, Andrew's the youngest. Yeah, mm-hmm. I am the youngest. Okay. Um, uh, they are gonna. Re- um, no, I was gonna say something. That's just <laughs> nice. Okay, yeah. Burp, burping is good. Pos- podcast. I'm gonna. Say, I'm gonna. I uh, can't. I'm gonna normally when single there's... out that that sound. So if uh-huh. we need to edit stuff out, it'll be your burp. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the uh, the sensor. I like that. Like, yeah. But anyway, all right. Second clue. It'll just be my laugh. Uh, it's an action film starring a foreign actor. Okay. Foreign. Mm-hmm. Uh, is he from France? England. Uh, no. England. It has to be England. No, what the fuck else could it be besides France and England? All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the, uh, okay. Is he Canadian? No. Oh, shit. Um, uh, there Japanese. are no there are no other like important actors Jap- from other countries. There are like, so many other countries that you didn't name. You named all the white countries. <laughs> I know. Good Normally Lord. there aren't any other American uh, based actors from other countries besides those two. Japan? We'll focus on this racism later. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. It, <laughs> Listen, I don't think I'm being, I don't think I'm being crazy here. Uh, the racist. film contains a dance number choreographed by Paula Abdul. Oh! 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 oh, oh. This is uh, With the cat? Uh, Black Knight. No, right? No. Okay. No, but there was one. Oh, fuck. I don't know. Martin Lawrence? Know. Okay. It, that, that, that could be. That could be. This okay. isn't it. Alright, anyway. All right. Um, is that animated cat in it? No. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? No, I don't. An the straight dance. up video? She, dar- she dances with that okay. animated cat. No, it's right. not. We, okay. Oh, wait. We can ask she's not questions. actually in it. It's just a chore- chore- choreographed scene. Okay. Can we, like... Done by Paula Abdul. Can, can we, uh... What do we get if, like... Do I get something if I beat Drew? Or is it I don't just know. Like, Maybe are we if working you win, together, you guys or? get to pick the next movie. Huh? Yeah, that should be it. Yeah. All right, all right. All right. We figured it out. Yeah, yeah. that's all perfect, right. actually. Okay. Okay. Um, but we should also have a stipulation that if you don't get to pick for a while, we, like, throw you in there. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, are you just calling what if you, of us What if part? either of us pick? <laughs> you get to pick again? That kind well, of, this that might kind of be sucks. kind of hard. Yeah. We'll, we'll work it out. We'll just rotate it. Because I'm worried you may not get this. It's like, whose line is it anyway? It's just all... No, I like the... The, the prize, the, the introduction, the, or the thing you said that like uh, this is a dance number by Paul Abdul because that narrows it down. Yeah, I don't know, right, and we still have no guesses. So. I've got some more. I, I had I've a got good some guess. more clues. Okay. okay, based on a novel or a novella. Uh huh. Another clue. Uh, is that a Knight's Tale? No, a Knight's Tale. That's from like two thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Ninety eight. Oh, shit. It's okay. called ninety eight. Knight's Tale. Uh, is Lolita. No. Uh, there's no dancing in that fucking movie. Uh, it's science fiction. Science. F- what? Chinatown? There's a dance number in no. Science Chinatown. Uh. What the fuck? Um, I mean, I'm not positive on the year. Space no, balls? I actually am positive. It's 1987. Um, I remember seeing that. Okay. That's the year I was born in. Okay. 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 So it came out in 87. Uh, and the act- main actor is from another country, which we don't know of yet. It's probably probably a perfectly fine non-white country, but I just can't think of anything right now. It is a white country. It is a white country. 
Arnold Schwarzenegger. You got it. Oh, oh my god. That's a bingo. The oh, Running Man? Shit. Is you it got the it. Running Man? Yeah, it's the, the Running Man. man. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? There's yes, a, I've never seen. The I've Running seen man. parts of the Running Man when I was little. I remember it's like he's like on a game show, or yeah. something. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. Well, cool. You got it. Yes. Drew B. <laughs> Drew B. Drew B. Got the the uh, big question. The t- <laughs> <laughs> I think they. Know. Drew B. Got the ruby. Drew B. Got the ruby. That's what we're gonna call these. Every we're gonna time collect you win. rubies, and then you can cash in your rubies at the end to level up. We're gonna have levels. Oh, dude! And then we just turn up your mic volume so that you outblow everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the reason I wanted to talk about the Running Man. Yeah. Do you guys know anything about the Greek myth of Theseus? No, uh, not Theseus. Theseus. I don't think so. You, it'll probably ring some bells. Theseus is the hero from Athens. Mm-hmm. That was sacrificed along with seven other men and seven other maidens to the king of Minos. Uh huh. And he had this monstrosity of a son they called the Minotaur. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. It was re- or contained within a labyrinth. Uh huh. And Theseus fell in love with King Minos' daughter, mm-hmm. Ariadne, who told him to take a spool of thread. Uh huh. And uh, the, he slayed the Minotaur and yeah. managed to escape. Uh-huh. Is that what uh, yeah, Clash yeah. of the Titans is? I'm sure that's worked into it. Yeah. yeah. So there's the Minotaur. The there's reason I wanted one. to talk about The Running Man is of, in recent times, films about death matches being like a sporting event mm-hmm. have become very Running common. Games, that one Harry Potter. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Battle Fire. Royale, I think, is where yeah. it really started. Yeah. Um, uh-huh. And then Hunger Games, of yeah, course. Yeah. And I think The Running Man, which is actually based on a novel by Stephen King under the alias Richard Bachman, oh. uh, was the he wrote first his shitty novels under that. Yeah, the well, first I mean, of its kind. So, really? Yeah. Okay. Of the Death Match. The Death Match. So this is before Thunderdome. I don't think it was. Okay. Uh, so. so you're wrong. But that's a little. That's different. <laughs> that's different. That's a little different. <laughs> that's like bondage porn. Yeah, is all that is. What? And fire. But this in, no, in a good way. If you watch I mean, this, the, what they're wearing, yeah, but not like I mean, they're still fucking each other up. I mean, I guess they are in bondage. It porn, porn can be anything, dude. Yeah. Beating people up can be totally be porn. What about if you get a motor while you're doing it? Yeah, porn. it's porn. <laughs> it's porn. <laughs> no, I that's, think, that's the that's it. I think I think it's definition. if you get a boner while you're watching it, whatever it is. Yeah, doing if you're it, doing it, then I mean, that's I sex. You, that's yeah, arousal. That's, yeah, that's a different about, category. Yeah, it's got to be. If someone films you. Uh-huh. Doing something, and you're getting a boner because you're doing it. Then you just made porn. You made porn, but it, even it's, if it's it like, isn't porn to you, that's just having fun. All right. right. Well, let's yeah. go watch some porn. All right. Yeah. Let's go watch some <laughs> fucking porn. Yeah. That's perfect. Okay. Uh. Sure, you like you hope if you keep sucking on it, it'll get better. Yeah, yeah it didn't, it like a warhead. Yeah, good. <laughs> well, I'm glad it makes you feel something. That's really <laughs> all that matters. And truly, okay. So, since you you could tell from the theme song, this is indeed the hair club for movies. Hair club for movies. Hair this club is for our movies. one thousand one thousandth episode. <laughs> and yes. I still don't know how to say it's that weird. word. It's <laughs> After all these years. One thousand. We've been doing this for ten years now. At least. Yeah. <laughs> Professionals. Yeah. So we've gone through a lot of people too. This is the hair club. We we talk about movies. Mm-hmm. Um we already took the quiz for the first part. Mm-hmm. The special quiz. Which is going to be the the end. opening for the show. It'll be the opening for the show on this show. Yes. Uh-huh. So we're going to have two quizzes, yeah. which you've already heard the first one. Probably. For, and the answer was we did the our movie. Job. The answer was... Running Man. The Running, the Running Man. Man. The Running Man, yes. Starring Gary So Man since 
since uh, it was Michael's <laughs> pick, I think he should uh, mm-hmm. he should start the yeah. At least up. why? At least why did you pick it? Well, uh, as I discussed at the end of the quiz, uh-huh. I think the movie, although it may not have held up great throughout time, <laughs> yeah. set uh, that sort of narrative has become has been reused in a lot of modern films mm-hmm. about a big sporting event that's like life or death, a death mm-hmm. match yeah. that people watch for fun. Mm-hmm. But I, it's also timeless because, yeah. I mean, the fucking gladiators. Yeah. And, you know. And yeah, but there's this weird, like, uh, expect- or, like idea that because the gladiators were, like, uh, 2,000, 3,000 years ago, that somehow we're not, like prone to those same inklings or those same, like, uh, uh, like desires to see blood in the sand kind of thing. I like, think that's, like, a, the most human desire. Yeah. Is to want to have uh-huh. sex and, like, <laughs> even though it's a repressed feeling, like, yeah. you murder. Yeah. Murder is real. Yeah. And or, like, even if hunting or, mm-hmm. you know, yeah, eating food that's bad for mm-hmm. you. I think even the That's be- not the same. I think even the best of us... <laughs> enjoys seeing someone you really believe like mm-hmm. deserves that pain mm-hmm. and that pain sure yeah. that's I think why Inglorious Bastards is a great movie oh yeah you yeah. know you can show that gratuitous violence once against Nazis and oh, I would love to watch it. Inglorious and Bastards no one. yeah I'd love to watch Inglorious Bastards with a group of neo-Nazis yeah and see how they react I I have uh, I have I have an idea of how they react, actually. I, I thought you were going to say, I know. I was going to say, I have, <laughs> I have a couple friends. I have a couple, I have a, I have a couple guys I can call. We can set that up. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I have, overall, I think they would not like it, I think. But why? Well, I don't know. Maybe, let's, okay, first of all, let's try and stay on Running Man. But we'll, no, we'll, let's, we'll, but we'll go, we'll go, yeah, we'll go down this tangent. Anyway, I think that Nazis, for the most part, I I'm just I'm completely guessing here, but I uh, would imagine that they view uh, their beliefs as just as oppressed as maybe the Jews were during uh, the Nazis in their prime. During so it kind period. of be like it's a- kind of like a re- role reversal where they feel very like. Uh, um, discriminated against. They feel like they're villainized, probably. Well, because they're fucking... Because villains. they're crazy, yes. And I would be like kind of like a vegan watching one of those PETA DVDs, like the yeah. Meet Your Meat. Yeah. Like... Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Vegans and Nazis are... It's like the same thing. They really are, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> one hates Jews, the other hates meat. Yeah. They're all meat. Yeah. If you can't... If you can't... I can't trust anyone who doesn't doesn't eat eat another bloody fleshy I think I can give up meat. I don't think I can give up hating Jews. <laughs> Dairy products. <laughs> That's a Nazi. They're just like two Nazis. They're just like, you know what? I don't think I love I tried I love it. baked goods too much. To give baked up. goods. Yeah. Well, go to, oh, dude. Yeah. yeah. My girlfriend works at a place that makes plenty of vegan. That. The best mm-hmm. muffin I've ever had in my life is a vegan muffin. Ah. Uh, well, you work there, you know. I mean, yeah. it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> the the funny thing about the whole running man like idea, yes, like everyone, we get it that like seeing people compete for their lives and if they are say a convicted like criminal who deserves to die, then it's you know, it's supposed this whole movie's overarching theme was like, oh look how fucked up it is to watch uh Someone who allegedly killed a bunch of people fight for his life, and all these citizens are like, yeah, 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 let's fucking watch this piece of shit die. But the whole, like, um, the whole idea of the, like, people fighting, period, is just, uh, it's, it's, I don't know what they're trying to say with, with this movie because the, you know, it's just pretty, it's pretty accepted that, like, we like to watch people die it doesn't yeah, you say you don't understand what the overarching theme is what, what the theme no the theme okay so I guess when I say theme I'm using that incorrectly like imagine that uh, him being convicted wrongly and having everyone root against him is like uh, the theme like maybe you know you can be there are certain people in our culture that we hate and maybe we you know are wrong in our hatred of them, 
and we're like watching them fight for their lives. Not, I'm trying, I'm actually doing this from the perspective of these citizens. <laughs> Not in our life. Okay. Because we never see anyone fight for their life. Yeah. But, uh, UFC. Yeah, but they're not, like, dying. They're, like... Shit. They're dying slow deaths, taking punches to the face. You know what Brain right. cells. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Not the same, though. Yeah. Um, but people have died, for sure. I mean, hockey? That's, like, the most exciting. Part. Yeah, it's football, true. It's hockey. Yeah. But no one's ever been killed by a hockey sword in a uh, hockey sword. <laughs> uh, people have died from pucks to the face, <laughs> to be That's sure. True. Yeah. That's true. And skates might as well be swords. Like, you're just, they're, 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 people they're have, sword shoes. People have gotten fucked up from ice skates. Oh, yeah, I've seen during, those videos. Yeah, 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 I've seen those videos. Tiny Hardy. Yeah. Uh, Tiny <laughs> Hardy? <laughs> <laughs> Did she use a, 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 an ice skate? I, that's how I always pictured it. It happened when I was so young, I'm yeah. still not really sure what occurred. I always pictured that she, like, tripped over her and... What what was who was she the like victim? broke her leg or whatever? Yeah, and like cut her with an ice cape. Yeah, okay. I don't remember. I can picture I her really face. Have no idea. This happened when I was like we were three young. Or something. Yeah. yeah, but it was like it's I remember it vividly. Yeah, I remember it happening, but I don't remember that. What. Like the O.J. Simpson trial. Uh huh. <laughs> Oh, those yeah. Are, those are I feel like great. I remember watching the actual chase yeah. on TV, but it could have just been Re- replayed because yeah. it was like 9-11. Mm-hmm. Like, it's all you saw on TV for months. Wait, o- the O.J. Simpson trial was very... Like 94? Yeah, very what? Yeah, yeah, okay. I was about, No, that was what I was going to ask. It was pretty... It was still really... F- but those... 9-11 and OJ were, like, separated by a couple of years, I figured. Like, seven years. I think 94, probably-ish. Yeah, I think so. Early yeah. 90s. Yeah. So I was, I was definitely old enough to remember yeah. that happening. I see. Because mm-hmm. I remember, I feel like maybe I did actually watch it on TV live. Yeah. That'd be awesome. I know that... No way to know. I... It's weird, because whenever I think of OJ Simpson, I completely forget about that car chase. Or that... That was, like, the thing. I know that that was the yeah. thing. For me, the thing was the, the like... The moment he's just there with the gloves, and he's just like These the glove does not gloves. fit. You must acquit. <laughs> yeah, that for me is the like the the most memorable moment because of how like clownish it was. It's just like mm-hmm. judge, look, these gloves don't don't fit me perfectly. Look how tight they are. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. I can't use these. I can't have these on my hands. Can you even imagine? though they are right now? What if OJ Simpson? They just he he was in this dystopian future, and then they're like, "Nah, motherfucker, you did it." Now you're the running man. Okay, so yeah, I was about to say, imagine O.J. Simpson is the running man. Then all of a sudden, like, he well, probably, he first of all, he was an athlete. Yeah, probably, I was about to say, probably, that would be an interesting... That he would, would be probably do movie. pretty well. Yeah. I don't know if he was in his prime around uh-huh. the time of the murders. And yeah. The but better than a- but average Joe. Actually, yeah. do you think that O.J. Simpson might have been considered for the role of running man? Because that would have been know. the craziest fucking... He was an actor. <laughs> he wasn't, like... Naked Gun and yeah, stuff like yeah. that. A lot of those like not serious films. Um, it was mostly like it was well, mostly yeah, action comedies. And yeah, well, uh, Running Man was, it? was definitely an action comedy. Um, There's a, like Police Squad. He was in that like too. Police Squad. Police Squad. Yeah. No, that's not the title of the movie. <laughs> Police Academy. Police. No, no. Police. Police. Police You've never squad? seen Police Squad? Oh no, Police. I guess I'm. It's a real Police Team. <laughs> 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 no, I'm serious. The name they named it that. Who was Mr. Magoo? I forget his name. Mr. McGee was a cartoon character. No, the guy who played it. The guy who played this person. <laughs> oh, very they, Mr. Over- Magoo. They did a movie of Mr. Magoo, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I want to say, I, my first thought who is... Who was an airplane, okay? That guy. Um, Forget his name. Yeah, I'll the older it. guy. Made, yeah, the older guy. Yeah, Leslie, Nielsen. Leslie, yeah, Nielsen. Yeah, Leslie Nielsen. Leslie Nielsen. Leslie Nielsen. He passed okay. away... Less than a year ago. Yeah. Oh, really? He yeah. was Mr. Magoo? Well, yeah. Because I first oh, thought... So you, you, your like, image of Mr. Magoo is shaped by this. Yeah, it really like, is. Early You've never 90s. seen the cartoon, Mr. I've Magoo? I've never seen the cartoon. Oh, my God. Dude, that's it, my... F- it only exists with Leslie Nielsen. That's so <laughs> funny. <laughs> so, anyway. See, I was thinking the Pink Panther, so I was like, Steve Martin. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's like second... Mm-hmm. Pink Panther. Yeah. Well, yeah, the original Which the Pink, Pink Panthers... Panther. I was like, oh, when I was a kid, Pink Panther... And I started to watch it, and it's like, ah, oh, cool, it's cartoon, because it's yeah. got the pink panther in the yeah, thing. Yeah. But then it's about a fucking detective. I yeah. don't care about this anymore. Well, yeah, that was me when I was a kid. The, same the original way. films, um, I forget the guy, he played Claude. He's a French guy. Inspector Claude Cousseau mm. or something like uh, that. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, that's what I'm saying, but, like, they had the... I wonder how they got the Pink Panther rights anyway. Peter Sellers. Peter is. Sellers. Yeah. That was Mr. Those movies was, are really awesome. good. Oh yeah, yeah. Awesome. yeah, the original ones. I didn't. Peter said he was like was a, an adult, but he was in a, like a uh, that one movie with the rocket. Doctor uh, Doctor Strange Love. Really? Oh, yeah. Peter Sellers was yeah. all those. He's like a famous. He's like character actor. Yeah. Oh, wow. He was also in Lolita, the Stanley Kubrick Lolita. He mm-hmm. was in like fucking everything. He was like. Wow. Did they do a James Bond movie? With him, like one of the few comedy. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. I've never watched a single James Bond movie yeah. ever in my life. All right. I haven't seen a lot of them, but I've seen a few. I've yeah. seen part of Goldeneye when I was a kid because it was like the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I had to watch it in order to play the game. I think those <laughs> Pierce Brosnan ones always seem so cheesy to me. Yeah, They're just and that's a, that actually kind of turned me off. Of well, James the whole Bond. concept of it is like, okay, <laughs> I don't care. No, it's all. He's awesome. getting laid, drinking martinis, I know, and shooting a gun in a tuxedo. Yeah. I'd rather want to be Batman. Yeah. Why would you want to be Batman? He's like a tortured Art. soul. Okay, yeah. yeah. He's Hello. a miserable person. I'd mm-hmm. rather be... I, the things I want to be are the really, like, happy... Also, I want to be a, a real... danger to society. Oh, like, he, yeah, he's, he deserves to be locked up. No, dude. Yeah. He is a vigilante. Yeah, he's a villain. He is the man. He... Listen. Also, let's... I mean, look. I love Batman, too, but he's not who I want to be. Yeah. I'm okay to be more like Batman. I want. I don't want to live Batman's life. <laughs> oh, I want to live Batman's life. <laughs> yeah, actually. because during the day you're like billionaire. Yeah, you are. You get you day. get laid, but you're thinking about fucking having sex and like, God damn it, Joker. <laughs> <laughs> I know you that have Robin right smile. now. I gotta I gotta bang this girl, but because I need to keep up people thinking that I'm Bruce Wayne, but I know Robin's locked up and he's probably dead, but I'll get another one, whatever. <laughs> I'll get another one. Okay. Oh, yeah. So anyway, back going back, back to old Schwarzenegger. Well, going back I have to exonerate myself, I'm sorry. Because I can't mention that there was a movie, Police Squad, and have you guys think that I'm cr- like crazy. I don't think you're crazy. I think it's just an obscure 80s movie that I haven't seen. Yeah, it's a movie. It had um, Mr. Magoo in it and O.J. Simpson, and it was fucking hilarious. All right. They have this amazing intro, too, where it's just like the flashing lights of a police car, but they put it on the front of a camera, and the way they shoot it is like this fucking car is like going through like shopping malls and like you know, through people's houses. That seems familiar to me now that you're explaining it. Yeah. yeah. It's fucking hilarious. Anyway, okay. now we can go back to well, OJ Simpson Arnold. being considered for... Have you ever movies. thought about how Mr. Arnold came Mr. to America Arnold. hardly able to even speak English yeah. as a bodybuilder or make human sounds. Became... An actor, a successful mm-hmm. actor, yeah. and, and then became governor of the state of California. One of the most, what a one of the most story. well-liked governors mm-hmm. yeah. of California. What a success story. Yeah, that yeah. is actually, that's like, the, that's that's the dream. American dream. He, he's an immigrant. I, I mean, I'm not saying all of his movies are gold, but yeah. I definitely am a fan. Yeah. A Total Recall, one of my yeah. favorites. Total Recall I awesome. mean, Twins. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> kindergarten Cop. Uh, that, that was pretty It's good. not a tumor. Yeah. <laughs> Predator. Predator. Predator was great. Predator Did you ever hear? I just read this online, Reddit or something this week, that Yeesh. the idea for Predator, 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 came from a Rocky movie where he fights yes. aliens. Yes, it was supposed to be Sloan. Yeah. Holy like shit. Rocky, Rocky meets the Predator, like some Scooby Doo shit. Yeah. Oh my god. But yeah. they're like, oh, he doesn't want to do it. We'll just get get this other guy that we can't understand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Listen, actually. Was was Predator like one of his first movies ever? What was know. what was Arnold Schwarzenegger's first movie? No, you're thinking of Sylvester Stallone. Also, Arnold. No, he was a bodybuilder. He um, was a star. His first movie, probably, I guess, Predator. Maybe Terminator. Holy shit! Actually, it might I'm be looking Terminator. it up right now. But that'd be crazy if he landed that. I role. did also hear that he didn't want to do the role of Terminator because. He didn't like the idea that people, foreign people, were depicted as bad guys. Oh. So often. Wait, then how would how would how did they know that he was foreign? Besides his accent, like he could have just been a robot accent. Well, his it, accent is. So I mean, thick. he. I there's guess. no way around. Yeah, there's no. Oh, well, wait. that's his own fault. Oh, you have an accent, huh? <laughs> Oh, that's weird. I never can catch it's on. It's his that. own fault. He's no, from somewhere no. else. Yeah, no, I'm saying. I'm saying. <laughs> sure. It is his own fault. All right. So, uh, his first film was. From 1969, Hercules in New York. Oh my god. <laughs> that's okay, that's a porn. That. 
Or um, that is not a porn. I'm trying to look. Oh, he was in Conan the Barbarian. Oh, it was yeah. probably a big oh, deal yeah, for him. Oh, yeah, yeah, and that yeah, was 1982. Mm-hmm. Terminator was 84. Okay. Um, Predator, 87. And so was Running Man. So that's a big deal. Dude, he was like, yeah. boom, boom, boom. Bam, boom, boom, boom. Bam, 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 he was bam, the bam. Uh, Channing Tatum of his day. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I fuck, what? Actually, don't even compare those two. Channing Tatum as, a, as the first person that came to mind. You guess. He's playing Gambit, dude. That's going to be cool. No. Dude, Channing Tatum, I, I've, I've seen movies he's done that I've liked, but him as a person, he just seems so, like... He's an actor. He shouldn't... You don't give... Don't care about... Okay. Don't care about... This guy actors. doesn't like... This guy doesn't like Green Day because they seem like... He, he, he saw them on an interview and one of them jumped on a couch and he was like, oh, I don't like Green Day. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's disrespectful. To that yeah, they're being disrespectful. <laughs> no. It was not... Anyone else could have done the same thing and wouldn't have had a problem with it. It was... But the punk this, band... It was... No, it was honestly like... It was a weird want uh, of attention that that person just was clearly emoting. It was, it was probably so Trey Cool, their drummer. He's very sporadic. He's very needy. It just it came yes. off as so. And they're Green Day. Yeah, they're not Radiohead. I, know. I mean, I don't. I don't like that's them. why I don't like them. I don't really like Green Day. All right, I know that. I, I know that I stand like alone. Yeah. I know that I stand alone in this. You walk down a lonely road. No, I hate that shit. <laughs> I love everything up into American Idiot. <laughs> Billy Joe quit the band because he agrees with me. He yeah, thinks but, it sucks. But, but, but it says decades something. Decades after, their best selling. It was their most. Six, I think they won a Grammy. It's a fucking Ameri- a Broadway musical. That doesn't mean it's good. Oh man. Wow. Yeah, he like we like he they sold out hard, hard sell. Yeah, mm-hmm. which is fine, but yeah, actually that'd be cool to see like uh, Green Day, just as a you know all three of them as the stalkers in Running Man, because they all have like one of them comes at him like with like a bunch of drums. Mm. Okay, so let's talk. About, let's <laughs> like a, a vengeful drummer. Uh, yeah, yeah. What the, how does he injure people? Does he have like percussive? I think I yeah, he, he's like he yeah, he throws and drumsticks. Then and then people, oh well, actually that. And he can like too. beat a gigantic yeah. timpani and, and like it it sends out a shockwave. And you're like yeah. ah, I'm, I'm okay, dis- dis- discombobulated, and I don't know where he is. And then he comes behind you and stabs you in the back with a, a drumstick. A sharpened sharp drumstick. A sharpened drumstick. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then they make brain stew and out of your brain. He throws. <laughs> he throws Symbols like uh, oh, oh yeah, like yeah, Raiden. Yeah. He's wearing a symbol on He's his head. Wearing like, a symbol. Like <laughs> okay, so let's actually talk about the fucking stalkers. Yeah. The uh, AKA the Mega Man bosses. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> they're all themed, or they're more like American gladiators. They really yeah. are, and they're even named like Sub Zero and shit. Well, I mentioned yeah. I think before that this was the inspiration for American Gladiators. Oh, so. I don't think you said that. I, it was one of the pieces of trivia. Oh, because I, oh, I was gonna say it looked yeah. like American fucking gladiator. Yeah, they definitely. I mean, it came. The out outfits were right so after. so dazzling. Oh yeah, and also that was something else I want to talk about. Okay, so okay, the stalkers were ridiculous and themed mm-hmm. hilariously. Yes, but I wanted to point out the fact that, um, and I said this when we were watching it, that there there were four people. Two of them were yelling, wearing yellow suits. Which was Arnold Schwarzenegger and the uh, the Spanish chick. Yeah, uh, yeah. And I was like, the okay, two. they're gonna live, and the other two were wearing red, and they were gonna yeah. die. Yeah. Star Trek illusion. I wonder. I feel like there was another Star Trek nod. In yeah, because uh, well, uh, Ma- uh, Mick Fleetwood, he said something about something, and he was like, "Well, I'm not Doctor Spock or whatever." And he was like, oh, "Yeah, I'm mean, the guy." Doctor Spock he didn't get the reference. Yeah, he's yeah. like, "You don't know, start." And yeah. he's like stare at him like he's an asshole. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like those were definitely nods to mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Star Trek. Yeah. Because I mean, yeah. You know, Stephen King's publishing a, a new book. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. I, he, I mean, he book. does it like every month. You know, I remember he's come out with like five or six ten, books this I feel year. Like ten years ago, I started hearing that he was going to be like publishing his last book. No, and I don't think he'll. Keeps going. I don't. I just whenever I hear an author say that, I'm just like. That's a publicity stunt. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't think he's physically capable. I think he has a condition where he cannot stop. He's like he like he was a hardcore alcoholic for a long time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And when people, you know, when people are recovering, people are like ex addicts. They they never really quit being addicted to something. They just get addicted to something else. Yeah. yeah. And in his case, it's definitely writing. But I also think he's just a genius. 
Because mm-hmm. I started following following him on Twitter, and his Twitter is like full. Like he's always saying something, and it's like funny. And he like he's yeah. like mm-hmm. so he's just a maniac. He's yeah. just gotta gotta do it. Uh-huh. I think that's just what some people have to be like. You mm-hmm. have to just have that obsession about something in order to be good at it. And mm-hmm. I mean, he's the best. So yeah. Oh, but is he the best? He's, he's the, the most king. prolific. Yeah, I mean, I know that he's... And, I mean, consistently g- decent, at least. All of his... I think it, he's probably considered one of the best because so much of his stuff has been adapted into, like, movies and, like, yeah. TV shows. Yeah, and almost all of them were yeah. original. They're, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what I'm saying. How many people have written, A, that amount of shit, but, B, having that, mu- like, most original ideas? Mm-hmm. And, like, so many people have taken his ideas and turned them into other yeah. shit, you know? Yeah. Did uh, Stephen King write Mystic River? No. Who was that? I don't know. Somebody else. Somebody you think it's Stand By Me? Was it like Cormac McCarthy or something? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I forget. All I know You're is You're thinking of Mystic Pizza. Mystic Pizza. Stand By Me, though, yes. I, weirdly enough, that movie was written... I mean, the story was written by, um, you know... Fuck, how does his name already leave my head? Stephen Stephen King. King. Stephen King. And, uh, and it was directed by Rob Reiner. Yeah. The strangest... Ah. Strangest director to put such a fucking author. Yeah, dark. Well, but Stephen animal. King's he, he's got the horror stuff, but he also has like very so like that and like Green Mile, which I guess has a lot of has more. Uh, There's like endearing moments, but it's still pretty much a uh, yeah a very well. There Green Mile is almost a fantasy. Yeah, yeah, it but it's still like not a magic horror element. or like yeah. sci-fi. Mm-hmm. But there's I feel like there's another Stephen King movie. It's like Shawshank Redemption. Redemption. Shawshank, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's what I'm a, saying. Like, that's a big reason. These are huge movies, but they're like they were. They happen to be. They happen to be movies. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like they're books, yeah, but yeah. they they happen to have been made you in guys, successful movies. You guys have probably played Half Life when you were younger. No, Did I you, know. But I know what it, what it I is. I love it, and I've never played. Did you know that it's based loosely on a Stephen King short story? Really? Yeah. Wh- which what? The same one that The Mist is based on. I think that's oh. the title of the story. It's about like a. Uh, military base in Maine, like in the woods, mm-hmm. and they're doing experiments, and they managed to open a gateway to another dimension. Uh-huh. Oh, you mean Stargate? Well, except this gateway is like it opens up, and they just get flooded with these horrendous monsters. Yeah. That. Just so, but those monsters are the same monsters that are in the Mist, and yeah. also Dark Tower, and that's where Pennywise comes from too. Yeah, and. Uh, like the mist, have you seen it? Oh yeah, I love the mist. Really, that's one of my. Awesome. You've never seen it? I okay, so I know that it had the craziest fucking ending. That's yeah. the reason In why it's good. Fucking yeah. Movie. yeah, I yeah. love yeah. movies that are like, you know what? Guess what? It was shitty the whole time, and now it's it ends shitty. Yeah, or it's, it's gonna worse. Get, it's going to get a hundred times worse just now because yeah. you get to live and yeah. You saw everything you loved. Yeah. I love that. I yeah, that love those kinds of movies that are just like, fuck you. Yeah. Fuck the audience. I don't care. My favorite kinds of movies and stories usually end with the implication of an even better story that mm-hmm. they don't really get into yet. Yeah. That's what, like, I really like the ending of Darjeeling Limited, where they all, like, get back on the train, but this time everybody's there. And uh-huh. they're getting on another train ride. And it's like the first train ride, everything was fucked up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And now this time, things might work out, and it's going to be... That's also a good setup for a sequel. I don't, I don't, I don't think, think Wes Anderson, Anderson would do, do that sequel. yet. It's like a... It's some movies, I've yeah. I've never seen Darjeeling. It's, it's the slowest... I, yeah. I, wouldn't, I, w- I don't want to say worst Wes Anderson movie, mm-hmm. but... It's the slowest, very slow burning, least like slowest paced. The rest of them very, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah, snappy. Yeah. And it was it's a not lot my more, favorite, but it's good. I think. A lot of uh, mm-hmm. di- dialogue. I mean, there's mm-hmm. a lot of dialogue in all of them. But I, I watched Grand Budapest Hotel uh, a couple days ago, and I Man. realized how fucking awesome that movie is. Like the first time I watched it, I was impressed, but mm-hmm. I watched it again a couple weeks ago, and it just, it's so good. It blew my mind, just how. How witty, like the jokes were, and just it was. It wasn't like most Wes Anderson movies where a lot of the uh, the plot is sort of just like a little more um, abstract. It, it just happens to be there, and it's all about the characters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This movie had like a very the very plot, plot driven. Of, yeah, absolutely plot driven. I was in love with it actually. For that yeah, reason. I think I think he's I think I I I think he's gonna plateau, or or that was his peak. 
For it sure. probably was. I, I mean, who I knows? Because he's great. He's still really young. A lot of filmmakers are prolific. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't think, think there are even that many filmmakers that go way downhill. Mm-hmm. They just yeah. like go pull a Woody Allen and just make obscure, strange Yeah, or they kind of stop. Like, yeah, there's yeah, yeah. some really good ones. I think, like, Coppola. Altman did, you know, like, four or five amazing films, but mm-hmm. then I think he just kind of stopped. It's like Tarantino. I mean, he's made, like... Well, he's the one you were... Bangers. He's the one that yeah. wants to stop when he's 60 or something. Hey, really? Yeah, did you not tell me this? Mm-mm. Someone what? said that he plans to stop making movies when he's 60 because he doesn't want to peter out. Well, he's the same. But I think it's stupid. Like, you look at all these other great directors, and yeah. I, Tarantino's a great director. Absolutely. I mean, they continued to make great movies until they were yeah. elderly. I think people you say that. What you love? No, I yeah. think people say it. Like, Kevin Smith said he was going to retire after he made... Uh, Clerks 2 or something. I mean, he's not even that old either. But he didn't, because yeah. he was just so tired of people talking shit about his movies, and he just yeah. wanted to make goofy movies, yeah. and he loved it. So he, like, then he started smoking pot, yeah, yeah, and he was, like, done with movies or whatever, and then he stopped caring about what people thought, and then he made fucking Red State yeah. and Tusk, uh-huh. and now he's making another movie called Yoga Hosers, and it's, like, just absurd shit, and they're, uh-huh. like, crazy amazing. I mean, I love Kevin Smith. Yeah. But just, like, who he is and his movies, but, like, what he represents and, like, he's, like, the pe- reason people started podcasting, man. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. like, he's just inspirational, like, to go, just go do your thing. Like, mm-hmm. go make some shit. He always mm-hmm. talks about that. I saw one of his live uh, smodcasts. It yeah. was awesome. But uh-huh. uh, I want to get back to Running Man because we were talking about, <laughs> I love this. We were talking about <laughs> Wes Anderson and how good it is and how well made of a movie it is. And let's talk about the polar opposite with Running Man. Yeah. Because yeah. talking like there is there are shots mm-hmm. where they show the audience this horrific thing <laughs> that Arnold Schwarzenegger allegedly did yeah. with the helicopter and shit. Yeah. yeah. But it's shot like there was a film crew inside In of the, the thing. Yeah. And also there is a scene where they fabricate the death of him and yeah, it's all and, uh, shot cinematically. Mm-hmm. I understand that it was the 80s and whatever, but like... Yeah. It, 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 <laughs> and then they... They... <laughs> they they actually have these really incredible, this incredible technology to make CGI look like film. Yeah. And then they have lackluster technology when it comes to uh, making, making... Wait, I, I have to point something out. <laughs> <laughs> Drew, Drew B, I thought we were going to just Drew B has spilled, so he spilled his beer on the carpet... And it looks like he grabbed a pair of dirty boxers. No, they're and it just soaked it's, it up. it's a weird like I don't know. So the people that lived in this apartment before us <laughs> stuffed the stuffed the the uh, the vents with that and like an old T-shirt because oh. it gets for some reason to keep well, the they heat didn't, in. They or didn't whatever. know how to like turn off the vent. I guess yeah. not. Whatever. So I I was like I opened it and I saw it. So I grabbed it and that's just that was there. So. Mm-hmm. I think it, I did, it looked like old boxers, though. They did. And no, it's like it's, it's like a pattern. The striking. I think it's like a pillowcase or something. <laughs> oh my God. They're for pillowcase. It's an underwear for yeah. fat people. There you go. But anyway, okay, yeah. So like, um, with Running Man, how they they could create these like fictional scenes and make it look like reality, but their their monitor displays were still we're like, like black and green DOS. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like they're still using floppy disks, and that's something yeah. that movies I. I hate to think about, like, how shitty my favorite sci-fis will look in the, like, say, mm-hmm. like, 15 years from now, because there's no way to predict what, like, technology, yeah. the interface this specifically was specifically This movie like. was supposed to be in 2017, yeah. right? Yeah. And I love, I, I specifically the 80s version of the future, like, yeah. the, the techno-punk yeah. stuff. That, but it's funny because like like everything makes coffee. I think that's their idea of the future. <laughs> everything. <laughs> everything does like twenty everything other things. Contains Every, coffee yeah, everything contains coffee. Yeah, everything is a coffee. Maker. But it's funny that's because a, like yeah, it's ridiculous. But we live in an age where like nostalgia is like rampant. Uh-huh. So like the future is going to inevitably end up looking at least a little like that because mm-hmm. people like you know everything comes in waves like. 
people start like dress like the eighties and nineties again. You know yeah. what? So Actually, I'm gonna make a hoverboards. prediction. Hoverboard's gonna come out in a few days, apparently. Lexus. I, I yeah. predict that we will never dress like we did in the eighties ever again. I think every single person. I think that's not true. I think everything is cyclical. I think we the won't 80s dress are. like exactly that way, but there will always be influence from that. We're always going to take influence. Look at like people wearing the way like the best, the number one haircut nowadays is like the is the the, 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 the Nazi the sides, youth, yeah, the yeah, Nazi yeah. youth. That's what it was. That's the where the haircut came oh, from. Yeah. Like oh, it's yeah. Nazi haircut. It's yeah. fucking Hitler's haircut. Mm-hmm. You know, I think, and but I that think, cut was also you know in the twenties and stuff. But everything um, comes back. The everything, thing is that the Hitler mustache that will never come. back. Michael Jordan you saw that Haynes commercial. He's rocking the Hitler stash. You know what? The why they the Hitler mustache came about. Charlie wow. Chaplin. Well, oh yeah, I, I think it's related to um, gas masks. They don't the old ones at least didn't work well if you mm-hmm. had facial hair. Yeah. So militaries would restrict your facial hair. To just a mustache, and it couldn't extend like past the edges of your nose. I see. Huh. So, huh. so is that why MJ did it? Because he wanted to take it back. <laughs> I don't know. You see I, that commercial? He's in an airplane and got the one earring, one cross earring, uh-huh. and the Hitler stash. You know what? I think he's trying to take. I it guess back. I've never just considered what he did. Like he really did just have a straight up Hitler mask. I Hitler haven't seen it. In, oh man, I'm yeah. Look it up. Look it up. I mean, maybe he's trying to be Chaplin, but like, there's no. no I don't. I, don't I bet. I bet he wasn't even thinking about it. I bet. No, I think he was like, "That looks tight." Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. That's what I mean. But yeah. also, you can't. I think everyone else on the, set with him was just like, what "Yeah." The I mean, fuck Haynes was like, "Are you sure?" I know that you're the reason no. we make money. Yeah, you're Michael Jordan, and you can and do whatever you, you want. You have to be yes man. But are you sure? But but look at your face right now. I want to show you this picture of two people. Yeah. There's Charlie Chaplin, and here is uh, Adolf Hitler. Also, I don't want to be extremely racist, but Whoa. is it... What? Right? I just found it. Yeah. That, I mean, not only does it look like Hitler, it's just... It's just disgusting. gross. It, it's looks like, yeah, yeah. it looks like he has black snot coming out of him. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're just like two black streaks coming out of each nostril. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. Maybe that's why. Maybe it's not perfect. It's so weird when people, like yeah, when you got that, because I have like, I have like, it grows out of my nose. Yeah, looks, your nose is So like, I couldn't, and I have the little, the little divot in the middle, so yeah, I couldn't do that. Oh, so. you could. Oh, you absolutely I mean, I don't want to. You should. It would look like more chaplain-y and more like a, yeah, like a, yeah, like, a broom, like a broom, like a broom. Yeah, broom my mustache mother. is already kind of broom. Right? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna shave it off today, probably all of it. You know, I didn't say I didn't like it. I don't care. Um, <laughs> all right, so uh, have we? Uh, is there anything else we want to hit on Running Man? Oh, absolutely. Um, I don't think we've hit anything yet. I know that um, the female actress, the lead. Uh, I think I looked this up during the movie. She was like a, a model, or she won like. Miss Universe or something. Mm-hmm. She's a terrible actress. Yeah. Well, that's something Fantastic. they share in common. Somehow so <laughs> bad at acting that her own accent sounds fake. Yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger's accent sounds like... <laughs> Some of those lines. What were oh, yeah. the best ones? Oh, oh that's what I was, the fact that he said, uh, I'll be back in yeah. this. Yeah. And it, it was very just, just clearly ridiculous. like written in like, hey, you know what the people want to hear you say. Yeah. They yeah, love you I'll be from back, Terminator. So yeah. you're going to throw them a completely like break the fourth wall line. Because it was, like, yeah. It was in a place where he like looked over yeah. to not exactly the camera. It was the most I'll be back. Staged. And you know that was like a, oh, is that? Yeah. Uh, oh, my God. Because uh, we watched the movie before. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah, I just that's when the movie was like, all right. That's when? Yeah, that That's moment, when it was too much for you? Yeah, that moment was when it was just like, okay, this isn't even going to well, be this is there's no salvage salvation for this movie. The the scene where the heroine is looking through the records and she mm-hmm. finds clearly okay. labeled in an unlocked drawer, it just says <laughs> like undoctored footage from the the yeah. Bakersfield Massacre. Yeah. Well, no, it and says like whatever, like, and, then, and then she like is. she just knows that it is, and but it has numbers on it, mm-hmm. and somehow she just knows that this is the footage. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't say anything on the on the thing on the fucking. Did she end disc. up in there after he was taken and she felt sorry for him, or was she in there 
after like how the fuck she did she ever feel compelled to it be was in that when room? they were yeah. in, they were in the airport remember uh-huh. it was just her and him and she yeah. was just using her or yeah. he was using her to like get through security yeah. right yeah and but then they caught him plan. because of her she like shoved him away yeah. and started screaming yeah and then the government altered the footage and that's mm-hmm. how she knew the government could be lying about ah, it ah I see because in the government footage they yeah. showed to the news he had been. Mm-hmm. He'd like attack some people. Or yeah, that's not. That's people. barely motivation. Yeah, I know. Like she, would she should just be like, like, "Oh, what the fuck?" <laughs> yeah, you probably still killed all those people in the helicopter. Yeah, yeah but yeah. who knows all the people you but, killed? You know, they that. made those really creepy rape jokes too. So, oh my god, what? Yeah. You don't remember? You pointed it out. There's the point where he's like in handcuffs, and the woman is talking to her friend, and mm-hmm. her friend is like. It's a good thing he oh, didn't yeah. rape you, and then she's oh, like, yeah. "Oh yeah, good thing he didn't rape you, or, or like, kill you, or like kill you and rape, or you. like kill you then rape you, <laughs> or, like, or then like kill you and then rape yeah. you and then like eat your body, yeah, or like or then like eat your body and then rape you and then kill you, or or then or how awesome kill would himself been. and then rape you after that because he's a ghost mm-hmm. and <laughs> then kill himself." In the ghost world and come back when you're a ghost yeah. and he kills you and rapes you or kills himself, becomes a ghost, kills you, become a ghost, and then he rapes, rapes you and then kills you. With his ghost body. Yeah, she went. She ran through all of the it was weird. scenarios and it was very strange. Yeah. yeah. She clearly had some... There was I another, don't think there are quite that many... There no, I, I, I don't know shit. There were there were like there was like one. I like made up one of them. Yeah, I made up one. <laughs> yeah, but ghost rapes. That's ghost rape is a it's. Is it okay? That's an epidemic. You know? Yeah. It's a problem. We ghost should not make light of it. Honestly. That's like uh, Ghost Dad. Wait, what was that Bill Cosby movie where he's a ghost? Ghost Dad. Ghost Dad. Oh, you kidding me? That was a weird movie. <laughs> Do you that's remember a whole the scene podcast where right there. <laughs> he can't communicate to the, like, the weird doctor, the mad scientist? Okay. And he's speaking like Bill Cosby gibberish. <laughs> On the mud and pop. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and then he like takes a potion and he starts to become more clear. And then all of a sudden you can talk. It's funny how, like, everything that Bill Cosby has ever done in his career somehow now, like... It's been tainted. It, But no, but, like, it seems like, oh, well, uh, we should ex- We shouldn't We're know. We're so fucking Ghost up. dad, and he takes a potion. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. You know what that means. We were yeah. just talking about ghost rape, so uh-huh. that was clearly connected. But, yeah, I've, yeah. I've seen all these articles where, like, oh, here's this episode of The Cosby Show where he makes barbecue sauce, and it makes women love him. Oh, yeah. that's a real episode. There was one oh, where, like, God. he puts women to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And he had that's jokes. Little, yeah, I mean, more direct. jokes about, like, like uh, uh, Spanish fly and stuff, which is, like, a, a, you go to, like, a gas station bathroom thing you could buy, and, like, it would make you horny. Jesus Christ. Yeah. But back in the 70s or whatever, that was, like... That was, like, the thing. Fine. It was yeah. fine mm-hmm. to talk about that. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, back to the, the running Back to running yeah. man. What other? Uh, I think the what weird, was one your of the, favorite. Yeah, let's scene. go. Let's go. Final. My favorite final scene, comments. My favorite scene might be. Um, <laughs> okay. When what was the the um, stalker who was electric? He was like the his. Oh his, yeah, electro his, or something or uh, Dynamo, I think Dynamo. Dynamo. Dynamo yeah. <laughs> he okay. was definitely a Mega Man boss. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, and he was just fucking ridiculous. But um, meatloaf with a. I think it's not my favorite scene. So call it my favorite would be weird. It was the one I could not get over. Is when he's in the hallway with the Spanish chick. Yeah. And all of a sudden his pants are down and it's like, ha, another, ha, I will rape you. Jokes. Yeah. And no, I'm just like, what, what did he the say? Fuck! How does he? She get calls down? him like he's not a man or whatever, and he's like, "I'll show you a man or yeah. whatever." And then his pants are and his pants are down. down. Like they, they didn't even show. I feel like they cut something out. Yeah. Like even back then in 1987, uh-huh. the yeah. filmmakers are like, "No, all right, this is one too many rape." This yeah, is violent. Yeah, yeah. This is violent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is this is just so oppressive. Even though he has a plastic uh, Christmas tree yeah. lights. He's a light bright. He's a light bright. He's a yes, light he was. Bright, yeah. But he was kind of, he was kind of retarded too. Yeah, he, he was, was like a retarded. Like he drove that like pig. tiny car, like yeah. little. Remember that <laughs> special car? Yeah. Special car. Yeah. yeah. It was like made out of car. It was. Yeah. It was made out of car. It looked like it looked like a a car you made out of Legos when you didn't have enough pieces. Yeah. Exactly. But oh, like, absolutely. Yeah. You know. Yeah. 
there wasn't like defined. This is this car. You just get like you just saw the picture of the car, and then you just made the car. You, you followed the it. instructions. Yeah, you just yeah. tried to do it yourself. You just take all the big pieces and put them on like a little flat thing. That's what his car looked like. My favorite part is probably just oh, man. Probably the the fact that they used that footage that mm-hmm. way and like on the jumbotron, and it was like. <laughs> It was a scene you've already seen in the movie, like the first scene in the movie. Yeah, yeah. it was just like a re. And they just showed it again, scene. and it is just so funny how things like that just it like, made you rethink of your what you're still watching a movie. Like, would I think about that if I were seeing this movie in '87? Would I be like, they just fucking you? What the hell? Yeah, want to be like com- committed? Like, yeah, yeah. okay, you got they're fucking. <laughs> Advanced. Yeah. <laughs> I think the the former probably. I bet people were less like there was not like a camera angles yeah. were never like really experimented with. I don't think they really understood how like cameras work because yeah, when, movie like, making. if you look at like the Blade Runner, mm-hmm. which is way better movie, <laughs> yes. but the the technology where they like look at a photograph and it's a still photograph, but they can almost like go in and look around corners. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, that was way ahead of its time. Yeah. It was incredible. Star Trek had a little bit of that, uh, Star Trek Into Darkness, where mm. they're looking at um, the crime scene of this giant explosion at the library, and uh, I think um, Kirk is just sort of like zooming in like you do with an iPhone or an iPad, but then yeah. he does like a little twisting move where he can like go around people and change like the angle of like what he's viewing at. I thought that was the coolest thing ever. Yeah. I haven't seen that one yet. I saw the first one, Matt. Seen Dude, it, uh, Star Trek Into Darkness is just as good as the first one, and the first one was fantastic. As many um, hmm? J.J. Abrams light flashes. Listen, people who have no, I don't, problem, I don't people have a problem, problem with that. Yeah, some clever. That's just that's just the reference you're supposed to make. That there were lens flares, and then lens it flares, didn't absolutely. affect the movie at all. It's just it's a, just a style. It's just a goddamn like yeah like I don't know why everyone has such a uh, fucking problem. There's more of because it's things in modern. They're stuff. really yeah. hard. Like the shaky shaky cam. cam. Shaky. The biggest problem I have. I'll take lens flares. The modern the trope is, is the bomb. Yeah. In trailers or mm-hmm. like here's uh-huh. the bad guy. Yeah. Dun, 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 and it's the same sound. Like come on. Well, do you remember the. Um, the trailer for oh, Inception. 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 That must have been the first that was, one. That was the first that one. Was, I thought that was the most exciting trailer I'd uh, ever seen. In because my life. that was the first time. That was Hans yeah. Zimmer. He came up with that track for yeah. that trailer. I was yeah. I mean, specifically. The second other thing was I was going to so think of successful. was. I want to watch that trailer right now. The Dark Knight. <laughs> I, mean, I, will, I love the movie, but I want to watch it trailer. Dark Knight, but that's Hans Zimmer too. Yeah. Uh-huh. I mean, yeah. he really. No, he. We gotta hope to have like nine podcasts about Dark Knight. But yeah, we will. We really will. A Hans Zimmer yeah. cast. Yeah. I was watching Interstellar uh, a couple nights ago, and Hans Zimmer is very conscious that his his uh, heavy brass has been like abused in other movies and trailers, and it's become synonymous with like just dramatic mm-hmm. uh, like emphasis. Yeah. And and when he was making Interstellar. Uh, the music in Interstellar is just phenomenal. But anyway, he was talking with um, Christopher Nolan about how, yeah, we um, everything we've used for Batman and uh, like our other movies like Inception, like with this really heavy brass, this specific sound, we're gonna have to get away from it because it's just too, it's too synonymous. It's with, like a like, trope. Films, yeah, it's trope. Yeah. And then he actually felt extremely comfortable being like, let's just do something crazy. I'm gonna use an organ for every single piece of music in this movie. Hmm. It was, I heard that he didn't even know the movie was sci-fi. Yeah, what um, what happened was uh, Christopher Nolan approached him asking him to make a uh, small piece of music about the relationship between a father and his son, and he didn't tell him... Or father-daughter. No, he said father-son, no. just uh, uh, as an added, like, I don't want this to be, like, uh, uh, you know, he didn't... He wanted the relationship between... Uh, Matthew McConaughey and his daughter to be, you know, not like Murph. Hey, Murph. <laughs> <laughs> he, he wanted it to be like just relatable and not like, oh, this is a father daughter relationship as opposed to a father son relationship because he really did treat uh, Murph like like a son, and he told he told uh, Christopher Nolan told Hans Zimmer uh, make a piece between a father and a son. Just because he knows that Hans Zimmer could relate, 
because mm-hmm. he had a son, and then he's like, well, it's just going to be a daughter now. Like, it doesn't have to be. Yeah. Like, just fine. Like, the fun sex child. has nothing yeah. to do with um, the feelings you're I think the last thing we should do is everybody do your best Arnold impression. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. That's terrible. Uh, I refuse. Uh, uh, Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> you just... just okay, 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 I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. I'll go. You just wanted to do that. Uh, I'm the Terminator, and I will return. To a return. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, give me a second. No, that's not that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to come back again. I forgot something. I should be. I just, just wait here. It's cancer. <laughs> it's cancer. All right. Oh god. Okay, yeah. so now. Okay, now for uh, we're a bunch of rambling idiots. <laughs> um, pointless. So this is how we're gonna wrap up each one. It's gonna be the quiz for okay. the next film okay. movie that we will uh, pontificate. You've got a really about. big clipboard. For I was this. About to say. Well, it's the only clipboard I have. It's the biggest <laughs> clipboard I've, I've ever seen. seen. I've had this clipboard since I was probably twelve. That's um, awesome. Yeah, I think it was my grandpa's that clipboard. Or my, um, for I think auto. it was. <laughs> <laughs> I think he used it to write on because he has to use a really big piece of paper because his hands are so big. But he also uses a giant pencil. But he, <laughs> <laughs> he, he writes like a kindergartner. <laughs> like his arms are backwards. Like he's using he's lots like, of paper for like he, maybe one or two. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He, he draws helicopters on it. It's just like, <laughs> and tornadoes. He just tor- no, helicopters. Oh, no, practice his letters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, so now is the time for the hair club <laughs> quiz. <laughs> the hair club quiz. <laughs> All right, since I won the last... I won the, the not Blade Runner, Blade Running Man. I gotta yeah. say, I'm proud of you for getting that. That Thanks. was I was very happy. That's not a you can hear it. Well known movie. Yeah. I don't think. And I would never have. Gotten I knew that I was aware of the movie. I, I I was so proud of myself. As you can hear, I feel like my guesses were pretty close though. No, like, I mean, you guessed fucking on... Black Knight. Yeah, and that's uh, a I like <laughs> Martin Lawrence <laughs> movie. No, the Paula Abdul dance sequence really threw me off. Like, no shit. Yeah, yeah, that that was. Kind you guessed of the a, only movie you've ever seen with a black guy. It was a real clue, but it was meant to throw you off. I think. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, okay, so this movie yes. was made in 2012. Was that a musical clue? Oh my God. <laughs> wait, wait, blues clues. Wait, wait, wait. Is this a musical clue? I used to know how to play the lost thing. Anyways. Oh. 2012. Uh-huh. Um, it's on Netflix. Netflix. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to guess yet. It's on Netflix. <laughs> on Netflix. Oh, we're going to we're gonna try to watch all of our movies on Netflix. That way, no. since we're so good, we're going to try to get sponsored by Netflix. And also... They're really into sponsoring podcasts. Yeah. And yes. also... That we way, should also talk about it on our podcast. If we have... We be yeah, let's put it out there. Yeah. I'll get more. Okay. Uh... And that way, also, people can watch the movies, also. I, yes, that, I think this thing should be a little interactive. Well, this is the fucking 21st century. They yeah, and not a pirate. Well, but, no, but the thing is, everyone has Netflix, and it's much easier to just uh, stream it. Shut true, up, Andrew. That's true. Okay. Okay. So, it's on Netflix, and uh, it's, it, I told you guys earlier that it's, it's, it's a little deeper than Running Man, it's which deeper. I don't think would happen. Okay, is too. this Deep Blue Sea? No, it's not Deep Blue Sea. Okay. That's too weird. Okay. This movie was purposely leaked purposely, on the internet, purposely. and they used... <gasps> oh, um, shit, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Okay. Fuck, I should have mm-hmm. been able to guess it on that. Okay, there was, there, was, um, there was real alcohol used in scenes where they're drinking alcohol. Okay. Which there's quite a few scenes of them drinking alcohol. Oh, uh, no, that's not it. That was 20... Yeah, damn it. Any guesses? 
Um, I was gonna guess Wolf of Wall Street, but that's not 2012. No, no. and it wasn't leaked. Yeah, you're right. On the internet. It was purposely leaked. Um, I didn't know this, but I found it on on the uh, IMDb clue or quick Real trivia. Uh-huh. Okay, so the last real clue that I have is uh, is an there's an actor from a Cartoon Network show in this movie. Jesus, that's so a fucking star weird. from a movie. This should really be the one that gives it away. Oh my god. Cartoon Network. Pretty, ob- pretty obscure. Cartoon Network Cartoon show? Cartoon Network show. What the He's fuck? a real person, and it's a live-action show that he's on. On Cartoon Network? It's an Adult Swim show. Oh. So that oh, should narrow it swim. down. That should really narrow it down. Um, what the fuck? <laughs> man. Oh, man. Yeah, those I keep were... thinking of the interview, or... That one, oh, that's more recent. Yeah, no, yeah, it's not I that. Think you 2012, that. I'm trying to just think of what the fuck came out in 2012. Is, uh, actually, 2012 came out in 2012, That's right? true, one of the worst movies I've ever seen yeah, in my life. Yeah. I saw that shit in theaters, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, fuck. Do you, are you serious? You don't have any more clues? That's all the clues I have. I couldn't think of can any you, can well, you? Why don't you tell us, like, what's the genre? Uh, the genre is... <laughs> the genre is comedy. Okay. Comedy. They're drinking real alcohol. Dark comedy. Dark comedy. They drink. What the fuck? Oh my gosh. Um, I have some notes. It's, it it uh, I felt like I related to this movie a lot in a, in a very in a bad way. That yeah. I, that made me feel a little bad. Uh huh. Uh huh. And too close to home. Yeah. Let's see. Uh. Our live listeners are probably beating themselves up. Oh yeah, I yeah. forgot to say we are we are doing we are streaming this live right now. Yeah, uh-huh. as yeah. we will all of our <laughs> podcasts. Yes, yes, true. Yes, yeah. um, on uh, www.hairclipformovies.com slash dot org dot org slash live for movies dot li- live show. <laughs> Hair clip for movies. Hair club for movies. Hair, Hair clip for movies is the website. Flip. Hair clip for movies. It's weird. I, the hair clip for movies was already taken, so I just got hair clip for movies. Dot work. Slap. Hair clip for movies. That's even way better than hair club. Hair, hair no, clip is it's, it's like a movie clip. Oh god. No. I like it. <laughs> I, really, I really like it. You know, it's, it's I, funny on the honestly. Hair. I really think we should just call it Act Three. I think so. I, you know actually I agree. With you. Yeah. I mean, we could call it that if it weren't the worst name I've ever heard. Yeah, <laughs> we could call it the worst name I've ever heard. <laughs> All right. Oh, so like, so okay. Back to the quiz. Okay. Yeah. yeah so. Yeah. You got no. Nobody has any guesses at all. You're gonna have to start um, just telling a shit. All right, so it's a comedy. okay. So it goes along with the theme of Running Man in that it's um, like, uh, extreme forms of entertainment are involved. Okay, uh, people being a little desensitized and uh, going to extremes to be entertained. Uh huh. It's a comedy. Comedy. Who's in it? Why don't you tell somebody? Yeah, you're just gonna have to. If I tell you the person, then you're gonna guess, and if you don't, then then okay, then we lose. Jesus shit! Should I, should I tell you the, game. the star? Should I tell you the star? Yeah. No, don't tell us the star. Tell us a B actor. Like uh, there is. It's an. It, there's only two people in it. I definitely don't know this. There's two people in the movie that you would know. You know them for uh, sure. Fuck. But they're not really in movies. Uh. What? Oh, God. Um, this is the only movie this guy is a star in. Yeah, man, I'm not going to get this one. Okay, the actor is Tim Heidecker. Oh, oh God, is it the it's movie? a million-dollar movie. No. No, it's the the comedy. The comedy. Oh, God. It's called The Comedy? Oh, I thought you'd seen it. Oh, yes. What? It's the comedy. Oh, my God. It's the comedy. I will... I have heard of it, and I feel bad I didn't oh, get it. So I glad. forgot the movie existed. I'm so glad you guys I have never seen it. I completely forgot. You, Andrew, I'll are going it. to very appreciate this movie. <laughs> and very. I think everyone will. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, okay, so... So since neither of us got it, can I just be the one that picks the movie? Yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah, you can Hooray. pick the next time, because you already know. Yeah. I have um, a so yeah, I wanted to watch it, because it, yeah, uh, I feel like it speaks about... The comedy. Our, yes. The comedy. Talks about like the, <laughs> the guys. The guys it's so unannounced when you do that. <laughs> actually, Arnold Schwarzenegger is actually in it too. That'd be fantastic. Uh, no, he's not. God damn. But yeah, it's about this guy who's uh, basically desensitized, so he goes mm-hmm. to extremes to laugh. Oh shit. Okay. All right. That's All right. Like a loose. I did. I saw the trailer when it came out. 
you may not know this about me. I'm obsessed with movie trailers, and I know that mm-hmm. they often ruin movies. Yeah, yeah. But I think the best movies they're they have good trailers. I like still, good trailers that like, don't really the, give away much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I like. I don't too. go into, but like, I do. I watch almost every trailer. That comes what's your favorite out. trailer? Well, probably Inception yeah. is great. Yeah. Um, I mean, in terms of getting psyched for a movie, that it never nothing. Ever yeah. Really, it well, did such a goddamn good job. My favorite right now is probably. Uh, suicide Squad. Oh, it actually, Deadpool trailer comes out today. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There was yeah. a trailer. There was a little trailer teaser. that came out yesterday. And, um, st- and fuck that, by the way. No, I'm not post, fuck that. Post trailer. I mean, pre trailer. It's meta, and Deadpool is meta as fuck, and I'm yeah. so hyped. But for the it. thing is, so many movies do that. No, it's not just that. Yeah, but Deadpool no, Deadpool like, talks to the audience and for the fucking trailers. But, but Deadpool is doing now. it. He's making fun of that. I know. He referenced how they sewed his mouth shut in the last movie. Yeah. Uh, oh man. I tried to explain it to Becca, and she just didn't care. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> what a shock. Oh my God. All right, the comedy. The comedy. You know, I do feel a little bit better, because I don't think in a million years I would have guessed that. Because I, like, I forgot it existed. Yeah, yeah I, I never didn't really have any good guesses. It. When he gave me the, the clue about leaked online, I... That I didn't know it either. Yeah. I just took the trivia from IVP. I didn't... I couldn't tell you anything that I wouldn't instantly give it away. I like those guys. I mean, I think Tim and Eric it's are not, really funny. It's not, it's not written by Tim and Eric... At okay. all, but uh, Eric Wehr- Wehrheim is in it too. He's like a bit character, but it's they, the guy approached Tim Heidecker about being in it. Okay, so it's not any Tim. He- it's not. It's not that. It's sort not of there. It's not absurd. Humor. It's yeah. not absurd, but it is. It is funny. Uh, similar. Mm-hmm. You know, would this be off base to like watch a Tim and Eric short before? Like we watch a short film before the movie. We could. Mm-hmm. We could. We could be I mean, a primer for it. I don't know. I watched that movie and it's fucking. It got I confused. like the tradition of having a short film before a movie. I just wish it were. Oh really? All right. Yeah. Well, I guess we're not watching it together. We're no, we're gonna it. watch it separately. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Which is a shame because it's a comedy. We should be watching it together. It's not a comedy. It's, I think it's, it's called the it's comedy. It's really not a comedy. Uh, on, on Netflix, it's under fucking dramas. Well, so. Drew, you want to play us out here? Yeah. Okay. This has been the heck of a movie. See you next week.